להזמין, לשאת דברים, את שגרירת קפריסין בישראל, הגברת סלינה סנטוס. בבקשה, תודה. I don't think I have to say that this is a very touching and a very great moment because it is a moment in which we cherish the magnitude of Papa's legacy because Papa was nothing short but extraordinary and we all know why because he did the right thing because he felt in his heart that the Jewish people could not be behind barbed wires because he believed that the Jewish people deserve a place of honor, of liberty, of sovereignty, because he was passionate about justice and could not, did not accept the defamation of Jews who had just come out of the Holocaust horrors that wiped out six whole million of them. And this is exactly why Papa is a legend of ethos depicted by his unflinching determination to assist them. And in this way, this was his tikkun olam, a responsibility for the welfare of his society. Papa, under this slide, epitomizes everything that brings us together and our joint conviction that hope can shine even in the darkest of times of loss and persecution. Papa represents our values, our principles, our dreams. He represents our dignity as a Cypriot nation in assisting the 53,000 Holocaust survivors that passed from the British internment camps and the more than 2,200 children that were born there. Some of them are here with us today, like Esther and Zahavid. I'm proud to say that this inauguration coincides with the time during which our bilateral relations of Cyprus and Israel have never been stronger. A time in which our Cyprus-Israel strategic cooperation is ushered into new vistas. Only a week from now, we will have another visit of Prime Minister Netanyahu to Cyprus and our fourth trilateral summit together with Greece in Nicosia on May 8. So personally, as Ambassador of Cyprus in Israel, I feel so honored to be surrounded here under the flags of Israel and Kafrisin and surrounded by the so many simply amazing people between whom Papa is the connecting thread. People like Yoram Seba, Professor Benazzi, and of course, Mayor Yonat Yahar, that made this project come to fruition. And I take heart that our collective duty in bringing Cypriots and Israelis even closer together is stronger than ever. So, dear friends, as I turn and see the sea that connects us, Papa's lingering presence is also seen in the shining eyes of his little grandchildren, Lina and Andreas. And I'm assured that his legacy serves as an emblem of our future generations. And it is then that I completely rest assured that in this moment, Papa is so very, very proud to Darabak.